So, uh, Gwen, how is, uh, how are things, how are things going with uh, you and Daisy? Uh, they're going fine. Fine can be de determined as many different things, Gwen. We need specifics. Uh, nothing real interesting is going on, on between us. We're just living our normal lives here, as anyone would. But, to be frank, I think normal, the definition of normal here is kind of understated. It's kind of an understatement. A lot of weird crap goes on around here. Ah, uh, right. I mean, we had, I mean, we had an, we had an invasion there a while ago. There was also the overhaul of element, the elements, and I think there were like some sort. I think there was like an epic climatic battle that happened like a few weeks or a few weeks ago. Right. You know, can we really call any of this normal? I mean. I'm just a normal human with nothing real interesting going on with my life except for art. And you two are witches. Well, one of them is more of a witch than the other. Hey! What I'm just trying to say is that the extra, the un, the unex, the unexpected is kind of normal around here, but it wouldn't technically be considered normal in any other other plane of existence. I mean. This is just getting a whole. This is just getting really philosophical. If you're if you're asking me, hmm. I never really thought of it that way. Hmm. Well, you can't really. You don't really know what you have until you t until it's lost. I'm going to go now. <sighs> oh, look at those two. Communicating, Ta probably talking about girl stuff. When their backs are turned, I'm gonna rub them. <laughs> yes, sir. Do them real good. Hi, Larry. <laughs> what you doing? Well, being sneaky as usual, eavesdropping on those girls over there. It's probably talking about a lot of weird stuff. But hey. Wouldn't be the weirdest thing to use to use dropping those t on those two. I mean, they're one of the o they're two of the only three girls left on our team. So yeah, that wouldn't be the most weird thing to do. You say you say this as if this is normal. To me, it is. You're a real snoop, Larry. Yeah. So, I wouldn't really consider myself a snoop. Them. Snooping and eavesdropping are two different things according to my philosophy. What would your philosophy even dictate? Yeah. My philosophy would dictate my chances of getting farther into the game that I did that I did back in season one. And my philosophy is the more smart one of them all. I may actually make it into the merge and do better than everyone else on my old team, the Koopalings. Anyways, I'm going to go back to doing my own thing. You can, uh, do your twin stuff. Bye. I don't trust Larry. He may be plotting something to, s to sabotage some of our win type chances of winning. Yeah. I think we should keep an eye on him. Like, do what he does. Yes. We are going to eavesdrop on him. You are a genius. Hop on. You all know how sticks stay on trees, right? Well, maybe David was. Maybe David got all of his limbs from a tree. What I am? <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. Seems like you are getting a little more uh, confident in yourself. You know, after after the whole Clyde getting eliminated thing. I have crippling depression. Never mind, you're still depressed. Well, one of the other two, one of the other few groups that have friends are definitely gonna get depressed this time. We lost last challenge, and we got zucked because the other two teams cheated, which probably should have been against the rules. Well, the choices on who makes the rules was not our call to begin with. Mint and Violet can change the rules of the show whenever they want. They make. They host it, and they know what goes. 
Actually, I think the host's job is just to, just, you know, to host the challenges, the show itself. The producers kind of dictate the rules and stuff like that. But that doesn't really explain why the heck they still allowed that to go. I, I mean, come on. It doesn't make any sense. Hmm, I got a theory. What if they just didn't ma have those rules to begin with? Just so they could have us lose this time. I mean, we haven't lost in a while, so... It makes a whole lot of sense that we we'd have to lose again at some point. But there are teams like Blet and BFB who have a 12-episode winning streak. You may be right about that. Oh, man. Now we're, so, now we're killing the mood. We were just listening to Inky's puns, but now we're just talking about the... Now we're just talking about the game. This is what we were trying to avoid in the first place. Well, we can't really make it. We can't really change that fact. We lost because of cheating. How are we not supposed to talk about that? You could pretend that we didn't lose, but we did lose, so it's hard to pretend that we didn't lose. Because, ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, Fireworks right. There's no way of avoiding trying to talk about this. I. There are only like two people that could be potential. Um, that could, there are actually three groups that could potentially be in danger in this judgment in this judgment time today. There's Junior and Paddington, the Mage Sisters, and me and Waddle Dee. But me, Brent, and Paddington sat out. How the heck? Why the heck would we? Why would? Why would we even? Why would we even be potential threats? The light in, in my vision, I only think that you two would be the only things that concern concern that could probably concern our team. You're the only two that and you two were, were the only group only full group that competed in the challenge. I I just don't know. Come on. All of us tried our best. We lost. Cheating was the result of our losing, and we're getting punished for it. Sucks, but that's just how life rolls. No rolls shall be required for this, for today. Only booms, as to now, it is time for Judgment Time. It's Judgment Time! Oh yeah. Welcome back, friendship group. It's been a while, hasn't it? Ever since that dumb elimination you guys had last time. Is this gonna be a running theme now? You just announced... Announced the last, our last time we came here for Judgment Time. I we do not want to remember that. It's just gets me worked up. Same here, Brent. Same here. Aw, you're all getting depressed. Yay! Why must you laugh at us? Laugh? Why must you be excited by our by our mix misfortunes? I mean, doesn't really make doesn't really make us feel any more confident than than we are now. I'm trying to make you confident. I'm trying to make you sad. Calm down, Mint. We have a judgment time to get to. Now let's say how many. Let's get on to how many votes we got. This time we got a total of 26 votes. Six more than last time, which wasn't really what we were expecting. We were probably expecting a lot more since uh, this is a show that's highly popular on the channel. But who really cares about that? It'll probably increase more and more as this series goes on from this point. Anyways. Let's move on to the prize votes. Violet, on all of you. Only one person didn't get any votes for prizes, just like last time. Which is... Brent. Oh, come on. Why? Why didn't I get any prize votes? Eh, people just don't really care for you anymore. Despite the fact it was... It was people who, who liked you more that got you in, That kept you in here to begin with, but uh, I digress. Anyways, keep going, Violet. At one vote, Flamberg, Hinky, and Paddington. You all, you all don't get the prize either. Oh, come on. Well, that's unfortunate. Blacklight, Freddy, and Francisca. You all, you both only have two votes, so you don't get the prize either. Oh. Hmm. Well, at least some viewers cared. At four votes, Waddle D doesn't get the prize. At second place, at 
Seven votes is Bowser Jr. Oh, Which leaves. Oh, come on. Not again. Paratroopa gets the prize. Again. What's up with this? Pe Why are you people giving. Voting for this. Voting for the person to get the prize again. Twice in a row. You did this. First Waluigi and now Paratroopa. What the heck? Like you said, no rules against people getting the prize more than once, so I'ma go spin that wheel! <laughs> hey! Okay, I already got immunity, so I needed to get something that will really benefit my team. Parachupa, literally right on the dot, you get to save a buddy boy! What's different here is that you don't get access to the boats. Instead, you have to make a blind decision on who you think deserves to be saved. Also, if you, when you save someone, you're going to get two extra votes. So, that's nice. Wait, a blind decision? You, all, you know how bad my luck is! Yes! Anyways, get to picking, now. You only have a limited amount of time until, before we make, until, in, as you're going to have to make it. Let us make the decision. I... I don't know who to pick. I mean, Wildy, you're my buddy, but you did good. And the Paddington, oh, you did sat out, Brent sat out. I mean... Oh, man, this... Uh... Tick tock, pa paratrooper, I know! Hmm... Uh, uh, uh. Aha! Idea. Ha! Huh. Alright. I made my decision, and I am going to save Flamberg! Wait, Flam... Why would you want to save her? Something in my mind is telling me that... People do not like Flamberg, and, uh, yeah, I just went with my decision, and I already know I'm gonna regret it now, since my luck is terrible. Well, whatever, sit down. Wait a minute, you're, you have immunity. How are we supposed to give him votes? It was at this moment that Mitten Violet knew. They duffed up. Dang it. I get off scot-free. Ha <laughs> ha, I am a smart man. Well, thanks to Paratroopa's complete, thanks to Paratroopa's idiocy, Flam... Flamberg got immunity, and he doesn't get any sort of repercussion from his actions. Goes to show you how the little, the slightest thing, bit of forgetfulness can go a long way. Anyways, let's just get on to the elimination votes. On it! Anyways, now we're moving on to the elimination votes, and if you know the drill, if you save, go over there. Go over there. If not, boom boom cannon for you! Anyways, let's start off with the people who got immunity. Blacklight Freddy is safe since he's a rejoiner. Sweet. Paratroopa is safe since he got immunity from the first time he got the prize. <laughs> no repercussion for my actions. And Flamberg. The she actually would have been eliminated with with a whopping with a whopping 14 votes, but um, Paratroopa's small mind was actually smart for once. This close to get you, this close viewers. This close. Safe at one vote is Brent. Nice. And Waddle Dee. Oh yeah, I forgot. Inky got zero votes. Hey! And safe from the bottom two is by is Flat Francisco, one of the better mage sisters. Oh phew. Wait, wait! Oh no! Oh look, you looky here! Bowser Jr. and Paddington, the bottom two! Ha <laughs> ha! Junior, you're in the bottom two because you, because people apparently thought you lied about your stuff and when when Super Ocelot was recently was eliminated and about having having to forget about the drama the drama that was going on and just have fun. But as we learned from Rotom, your your action. Your, your speech didn't matter in the slightest. Mm -hmm. 
and Paddington. You're in the bottom two because nobody really likes the movies you're movies that you starred in and people just don't like you in general. I don't want to leave Puny, but I don't want to leave either. Same here. Oh. The final person safe with two votes is... Bowser Jr. <sighs> Paddington, you have been eliminated with five votes. You, you must. It's you. Go to the boom boom can. Just, just go over there. <sighs> well, that's it. I'm done. I have been eliminated. But it was fun while it lasted. I had a real fun time playing with you all. I mean, I even made a friend. A real friend that I can call my own. I'm going to miss all of you. Especially you, Junior. So long, old pal. I'm sorry. I'm real sorry, man. You did good. We'll miss you. Say hi to Ink say hi to Clyde while you're back at Plus Central. I'll never forget you, old friend. Take care of back at Plus Central. But try to ask someone if you they could sell i I'm gonna probably try and set try and ask someone if they could stock some of the stores of marmalade for you. You're all really kind people. I think I'd like to stay here a little longer. If you're referring to Plush World, yeah, you could stay as long as you want. But if you're talking about here on Angel Island, nope, you're done. Any final words, Paddington? Well, it's been fun while it lasted, and goodbye to you! <laughs> Nope, here comes the repercussion. My instant regret. Dang it. You had to save someone, man. You can't always be good. You can't always be lucky that you have a good decision. You're right. Gotta man up and keep going. We're gonna do this for Paddington. We're gonna do this for all the fallen members that we've had we had leave. Every single eliminated contestant, even the ones who were jerks like Sonic. Let's win this. Yeah. We're gonna do as we're gonna do the best that we can. Now that the bear that corrects my math is gone, every team now has eight members on each. So nobody can correct me anymore. Is that the really, is, was that really the only gripe you had with Paddington? Oh no. That it, British accent was getting real annoying. Also, he br also he didn't get in because he got the invitation like most of the vet newbies. He bribed his way in with tacos. Man. That's what, that was one humiliating night for the king. Oh boy, I know those. I tried to sign up for the Parent Teacher Association at Plush World Academy, but since, I ha but since I'm a serial murderer who kills kids, I was politely declined. It wasn't really a polite decline. We legitimately threw him out the window. Enough of the chit chat. We're going to Ice Cap next, because that's the next zone on the list. And to save us some time, we made more modifications to the bus. We made it fly. Stop denying it. That's an that's an airship that you turn into a bus, then a drill, and then modified it to become a, become an airship again. Stop lying. No. Before it was a bus, now it's an airship. Now sh now shut up. Get in and let's fly to Ice Cap. 
Welcome to Ice Cap Zone, and boy is it real cold in here. We're probably gonna get sick after this. You betcha! Ah, yes! Finally! The hosts are gonna feel the exact same pain that we are going through. Actually, we were lying! We got medicine! The rest of the reptiles here are gonna get, are gonna get sick. Dang it! Now would the rest of you all step on that on that large ice platform over there behind you? Good, now stay there. What the heck? Now we're just surrounded by hole. I think you... Lieutenant, you mean by a hole. We're surrounded by a hole that we are suspended over. Shut up, woof, woof. I mean, like, one slip up and we could all fall down into, like, a million meters of cave. Congratulations, friends! You just summarized the entire challenge into one simple sentence. Welcome to Bumper Skates! Here are the rules. Bump into other people, knock them into the hole. Simple as that. Anyways... You may go. Now! Let's go! <laughs> huh? uh. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Wolf powers activate. <laughs> Yippee-ki-yay! Can't <laughs> off now. Whoa, 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 that was so much. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> you hurt my brother. I shall kill you for this. Self-suicide. <laughs> Fights like men. Oh, really, then? Ice traction. Oh, good thinking. You're not getting me out. Smart child. Hmm. Well, just try to hold all of this. Challenge accepted. It's a trap. Dang it! I'm frozen. Playing successful. Wait, wait, put me down, put me down, no, no! You hurt Franny, and I'm going to turn you into a popsicle! No! Another person, play. A metal. Fight me. Challenge accepted. India metal. Now I'm gonna make you fall. That's where you're mistaken, spring trap. This is your fall. I will take you on that. Um, Susie, I think we're outnumbered. 
Well, it won't be for long. What was that? You'll see. Uh, Brent, there's some um, water slowly coming towards us. Franny, we got a problem. What? Most of our team has been knocked down by metal. Mm, you gotta knock it down. Try and hit me. I am faster than the both of you combined. Yippee Oh, nope, I'm the. Uh. Yeah, wah, wah, wah. I hacked into the mainframes that have disabled his algorithms. Now I'm just gonna do this. I win. And the friendship group has won! Leaving, leaving the Bobs at second, and the Oddballs in last, meaning they have to go up for elimination. Now, um, how do we get them out? Um, guys? Never really thought of that, so, um, that's your problem. What? No! Vote in the poll in the description on who deserves to be eliminated and who deserves to get the prize! Whoever receives the most votes will leave the show and get the prize! Well, we're, we're stuck, we're in, a stuck in a hole now. 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 Kind of like the opposite like the of being stuck in the, stuck in the sky, sky like, like last time. time. So you're so referring, you're referring to, when to when death happened? Death happened. happened. I mean, life. 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 Yeah. 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 Eh, yeah, this is closer, closer for me being being, being, being more, more like, like the typical, typical wolf. wolf. Nah, not really. Nah, not really. I don't live I don't in like the like icy mountain. mountain. I live in the icy, icy woods. woods. Even then, it doesn't, it doesn't really make any sense to what I do now. Well, don't well, worry, guys. Hopefully, Hopefully they're, they're going, going to, uh, to uh, find a way to get us out. Hopefully.